So we want to solve for the approximate solutions to this trig equation on the interval from 0 to 2 pi, and we're going to round it to two decimal places. So as I look at my trig equation here, I see that I have a squared cosine term and a cosine term. So I'm going to get everything on one side equals 0 and see if I can factor. So I'm going to have 2 cosine squared x plus 2 cosine x minus 1 equals 0. And if I tried to factor that, I could have the first terms be 2 cosine x and cosine x, but the last terms would need to be plus or minus 1, and neither of those is going to give me the right middle. So it doesn't factor. Well, what would we do in algebra when a quadratic equation didn't factor? Well, a quadratic equation was one of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, and we'd use the quadratic formula, and we could find x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Well, my equation is quadratic in form, and what that means is it doesn't have x as the variable, but if we looked at cosine x, we have a cosine squared x term and a cosine x term and a constant term. So the number in front of the squared term is a, the number in front of the first powered term here is b, and this constant on the end is c. And we could put those in the quadratic formula, but when we do, it's not going to give us x, it's going to give us cosine x. So cosine x is going to equal negative b, that's negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is negative 1, and that's all over 2a, which is 2. Now I'm going to see about simplifying that, and so this is going to equal negative 2 plus or minus the square root of, if I multiply these together, I get 8 plus 4 is 12, so this is going to be 12, and it's over 4. Now, I can simplify the square root of 12. 12 is 4 times 3, and I can square root the 4, and it'll come out in front as a 2, and the 3 will still be under. Now I can do one more thing, so I'm going to put it up here. Cosine x is going to equal, I'm going to factor a 2 out. That's going to be negative 1 plus or minus, factoring the 2 out will leave square root of 3 over 4, and what we can do is we can reduce this 2 because it's multiplied to the rest of this with this 4 and leave that a 2. So what that tells us is there's two solutions to the quadratic equation. One where cosine x equals negative 1 plus the square root of 3 over 2, and then another one where cosine x equals negative 1 minus the square root of 3 over 2. So now I'm ready to get my calculator and I'm ready to put this number in that I got from the quadratic formula and then do the inverse cosine of that number and that will tell me what x equals. That will give me one of the angles. So let's go ahead and pull up the calculator. Now it's important because this numerator has two terms that I put parentheses around this so it'll divide the whole thing by 2, and I want to get this as a decimal so we can see the size of it, so I'm going to put in a parenthesis, and I'm doing a negative 1, I'm going to put a decimal there so it'll give me an answer as a decimal, and then I've got plus square root of 3, and then I'm going to finish the parenthesis, and move that over so we're out of the square root sign, and divide it by 2, and that looks like it's point three six six zero oh, two five and so forth but I'm going to use that exact value now that's what cosine x equals so x is going to equal what I get when I take that and I do inverse cosine so I'm going to do inverse cosine of that answer and I get 
1.196, and we're rounding to two decimal places, so 1.2 is to two decimal places. So one solution is 1.2. Now remember, anytime we do inverse trig functions in the calculator, it's going to give us one of a possible solution, where there's usually two solutions, because it's going to give us for cosine things in quadrant one or two. This is positive, so it was in quadrant one, but there's going to be another angle that has a positive cosine value of this same number, and that's going to be over over here in quadrant four because they have the same x values there. So if I take the angle I got out, 1.2, only I'm going to use the calculator value that's not rounded for more accuracy. If I took 2 pi and I subtracted that angle because this lower angle is the same size as the upper angle, I would have that angle I need in quadrant four. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get the calculator and I'm going to do 2 pi and subtract that angle. So here's, here's the calculator. I'm going to do 2 pi minus and use that answer from before the other angle and at two decimal places I'm going to get 5.09. So another solution is x equal 5.09. Nine. Now both of those came from this first value in the quadratic formula. Now I'm going to move down to the second value and I'm going to remember that I wanted parentheses around the numerator and I'm going to clear out the calculator and I'm going to do parentheses negative one, we'll put the decimal, minus the square root of three and that's going to be divided by 2. Now that is negative 1.366 whatever and that's what cosine x equals. So if I did inverse cosine of that answer I would get a domain error. Now let's think about why I got a domain error. So I backed up the calculator so we could see the number we had in there and we did that number from the quadratic formula and it was negative 1.366 something and then we asked it for the inverse cosine. Well think about it, if you take the cosine of an angle you are going to get something between negative 1 and 1. The range for cosine x is from negative 1 to 1. So I tried to ask what angle has a cosine value of negative 1.366 and there isn't one. That's why it gave me a domain error because when you put things into the inverse cosine function it has to be something between negative 1 and 1. So what that means is I have an extraneous solution. I'm not going to get solutions from this value I got out of the quadratic formula. So these two values are my answers to solving this equation.